Taylor Swift expected to make an appearance at Super Bowl 58 tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada, to cheer on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. He plays tight end there for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, politically, she's endorsed Biden in the past, but how much weight would her endorsement hold this time around? And what impact is she going to have on the Super Bowl? We'll talk about that. Joining us now is from the Turning Point USA Ambassador, Deborah Lee. And also with us is the host of Front and Center with Jackie Jordan and a Republican strategist as well. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, she has influenced pop culture. You cannot discredit what Taylor Swift has done for sports. The uh, NFL has got so many more viewers now because of her. But she's also impacted in terms of the election. New voters went out for her when she endorsed Biden. Um, could she be dipping her toe into politics this time around? Deborah, I want to go to you first on this. I don't honestly call me crazy. A lot of people on the right have been, but I don't see a big conspiracy theory here. I see her very excited about a very successful man. And I think all the people that hate on her saying she sings about her ex-boyfriends should be cheering for her. Maybe she'll marry this man and you'll never have to hear about her ex-boyfriends again. But as we've seen with her private jet, she just sold her private jet after a lot of peer pressure from people saying she's one of the worst celebrities in terms of carbon emissions. And there was a kid tracking her jet that she's trying to sue right now. She's clearly susceptible to community pressure, peer pressure. So I think we should use our voices to pressure her to vote for the right candidate, for the Republican candidate, instead of just assuming she's going to vote for Biden and boxing her in. I think we should try to win her over to our side. I'm a Swifty. I'm a Republican Swifty. And I would love <laughs> to on our side, perform at Trump's inauguration. You know, a girl can dream. And I think we got to work on that front, on winning her over, rather than just pushing her further left. She's got some good songs. A lot of them are about breakups. Maybe if this works out. She's got some more positive songs about her new relationship. Uh, but, uh, you know, but there is some data behind all this, too. According to Redfield and Wilson strategies, 18 percent of Americans say that they are more likely to vote for a presidential candidate if they got backed by Taylor Swift, while 17 percent weren't as likely to do so. Uh, Jackie, do you think that a Swift endorsement could make or break it for the Biden or Trump campaigns? And do you expect maybe she will dip her toe into the political field? Well, there's been a, John, it's really good to see you. Hi, Deborah. You know, there's been this whole campaign, even from the uh, government and, and even the news media, to say that uh, Taylor Swift is not being used as a secret psyop asset. <laughs> And, you know, this isn't the first time a celebrity musician has actually, you know, been politicized, you know, from Frank Sinatra and even Elvis, whether they knew it or not, were used to influence campaigns. So this is absolutely nothing new to uh, persuasion. And listen, uh, the media is either or the agenda is either promoting um, something that they want to sway or they're censoring something that they don't want to influence. So I, I see it as, yeah, you know, they brought in an entire new crowd. They brought all the young tweens and the Swifters into the NFL, and it's a really polite way to make influence. And um, so, I, you know, we, but I don't think it's going to change the voters. What it might change is the perception of the voters, is, would be my opinion. And Deborah and uh, President Biden, he skipped out on that interview that they do during the, the Super Bowl. That's 200 million people that could have watched that interview. He neglects not to do it. How much is that going to hurt him politically? I think the Biden administration believes that by hiding him, running another basement campaign, that that's going to help him. But this is not 26 or this is not 2020. We are all very concerned with Joe Biden's mental fitness or lack thereof. As we saw with the special report that just came out, he is not fit to be in office. And any public appearance just highlights that he stumbles over his words. He forgets where he is. He didn't even know the year that his son was born or when he finished his vice presidency. So I think that they believe it's smart to hide him. But us Americans are restless. We don't want a basement campaign again. We want to hear from this man. If this is the person that they're running for presidency, he should be able to do a two minute interview. This is free press for a politician. That's a dream to have 200 million people listen. Give me that spot. I have stuff to say. Well, we so, know he didn't campaign last time, so we couldn't expect him to do it this time. I wouldn't <laughs> expect anything different. <laughs> We're running out of time, but what are you most excited for, Deb, for the Super Bowl tonight and who's going to win? Um, I'm rooting for... Taylor Swift, obviously. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious, but I'm not excited for Usher. I'm excited for the commercial. There's going to be anti-Semitism commercial, which is going to be really important to reminding people to bring back the hostages, the war that's ongoing in Israel right now. It's important that we don't forget and we bring them all home. So I'm very excited to see that on well, the remember, national Well, remember, 2020, right. we had the same lineup, Chiefs and, and the 49ers and the Chiefs won, and that was not a fun year. 2020 was not a fun year. <laughs> so yeah. I, maybe it'll be a little different today. Jackie, who's going to win? We Real quick, Chiefs or 49ers? Oh, 
I, you know what? It's a good guess. I Probably the Chiefs, honestly. Probably the Chiefs. I think so, too. All right, yeah. Deborah Lee, Jackie Jordan, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you All right, stay right there. The second hour of Sunday Report starts right now.